Hello, this is Bryant Myers and welcome to another episode of Debunking Flat Earth. I have a really special episode for you today because we have just received within the past 24 hours a record-setting two-stage rocket launch that captured with rectilinear cameras the curvature of the Earth. And it was able to achieve an astonishing height of 56 miles or around 293,000 feet of altitude, which of course at this level the curvature is incredibly noticeable. It's just undeniable. And again, this is not NASA. This is an amateur rocket launcher, at Kip DeGardis, and um, I'm going to share some links uh, with his video. So definitely check out the whole video. I'm just going to share the clips here. And I, I want to play first the full speed video, and then we'll go through a little bit, and then we'll play the, the slow motion. Now, now, this is just a little clip. Now, the full video has a little bit of the backstory, and I, again, I'll put a link below this video. Definitely check out the full video. It's worth the watch for sure. And, um, and you can see the, a couple note, notes there in that little video clip is that even though it's a rectilinear lens, there are actual frames, if you slow it down, which we'll see in a minute, where the, the center of the frame is below the horizon and where it's above. And no matter where the frame is situated, the curve is always there. Again, because they're using a rectilinear lens. This is not fisheye. In fact, I mean, obviously not fisheye because there's no, no matter where the camera's framed, the, the, the curve is there on every single. Uh, and, and because it's spinning around, you'll see that the whole frame gets turned around and it's up and below and one side to the other. So absolute undeniable proof that there's no fisheye here, that this is rectilinear. And the curve is in every single frame there. Just amazing. So, so this two-stage rocket actually, like I said, got up to 56 miles or 293,000 feet. And this is in the, on the mesosphere. And this is the, the third layer of the atmosphere, you could say. And it, it's very high up. And you know this is getting into uh, areas that not even weather balloons can reach. So a lot of the high altitude balloon shots are literally about one half of this altitude. Like, you know, Mr. Sensible did a really great rectilinear lens high altitude balloon, and that got up to 39,000 meters, um, which I think is about 127,000. Well, anyway, it's less than half of what this altitude was. So this is just a, a flat earth killer. This is, I mean, I'd play the, I'd play the song Rocket Man by Elton John if I wouldn't get a copyright strike. But he really is the rocket man here, and he just literally, and again, he's not actually interested in debunking flat earth at all, um, but he absolutely just did with this launch. Not NASA, not anything to do with any government agency, just an amateur rocket launcher that set a record for a two-stage rocket launch. Now, I want to kind of go through this in slow motion and really take it in again, notice that the frames are all over the place, so the curve is always present. There, there's no frame in where it goes away. So now watch this in slow motion. Flat earthers are always saying, show me the curve. Well, there you go. From an amateur rocket launcher, setting a record, no government affiliations, undeniable rectilinear lens, no fisheye. The curve is there. This kills the flat earth. This is a flat earth killer because they can't cry NASA or CGI or anything like that because this is a true rectilinear lens. I would love to hear from some flat earthers out there rebuttal to this. I mean, how can you, what can you say to this? This is undeniable evidence that the Earth, that the curve is there. And they say, they're always saying, show us the curve, show us the curve. Well, here it is with a rectilinear lens. So thanks for watching. Uh, do like this video, leave some comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. And do please share this video, share this information. And do subscribe to my channel too. I have many more videos coming. And I, again, I really appreciate all your comments and support. And we will see you in the next video pretty soon.